It's Kawasaki ZX14 time. Woo! Alrighty, everyone. Today's question is, how dangerous are motorcycles? I imagine that is quite a common Google search whenever you're either considering getting into bikes or, I don't know, maybe it's a loved one looking into it for you to try and convince you otherwise. And I can safely say that after nearly 20 years of riding bikes, I can say that motorcycles are about as dangerous as you make them. I know that it kind of uh, sounds a little bit cliche in certain respects, but for the most part, the amount of danger that you put yourself under is down to you. There are those people out there that don't, you know, that think, oh, it's, it's not you. It's not you as the, as the rider that is going to be the issue. It is other people around you that are going to cause you problems. And that is categorically not true. In fact, the vast majority of motorcycle accidents are because of rider error not because of some other driver error that the motorcyclist encountered. Having said that, there are many strategies and many ways that you can actually make motorcycle riding safer if you know what you're doing. And so when you do actually encounter someone who, I don't know, is making an error in judgment, they're cutting you off, something like that, what you can do to correct well, I was going to say correct yourself, but put yourself in a better position on the road so that a crash doesn't occur. And a lot of it is about your preparation going into riding motorcycles to begin with. Because many people choose to believe that because a motorcycle is so open, it, that it's really vulnerable, that your position is really vulnerable. And yeah, okay, there's no shell around me to protect me in a crash or anything like that. But there's lots of options that you do have on a bike that you don't have in a car. There are lots of rider behavior that we've spoken about in previous videos, lots of riding strategies that you can use to help in that regard. Look, motorcycle riding in and of itself as a hobby has got a lot of negative stigma around it anyway. And one of my jobs as a content creator, as a somewhat minor influencer, is to try and get people riding motorcycles. And over those 17, 18 years of riding motorcycles, I have only been involved in zero crashes. Zero crashes over that entire length of time, zero crashes. There have been times when I have dropped the motorcycle going at, I don't know, 30 or 40 mile an hour or so. There have been those occasions where I've had to emergency brake and lost control of the bike and the bike has gone to the ground. But that is a much better situation to be in than getting into a collision with a car or anything for that matter. And I know, again, that is kind of anecdotal that my experience is not the experience of a few others. But you tend to hear a lot more of people who have got involved in crashes or have broken their legs and things like that than people that haven't because that's what makes headlines, that's what makes the news, that's the talk around the office about who got involved in a motorcycle crash. Even just the other day, I was on my way to my martial arts gym and it looked like there was a motorcycle crash, right? These things happen. But if you do the right thing, if you only have fun when it's sensible, right? Because again, so many riders out there will be overconfident in their riding abilities, They'll go too fast around corners, around bends, and you know, they end up totally missing the apex and going straight into either oncoming traffic or straight into the other side of the road, straight into the pavement or straight into those shrubs over there, something like that. All right, and to be fair, the same thing can happen in a car. The only difference is that, well, of course, a car is going to protect you a little bit more than a motorcycle would. So, what I would say to any prospective motorcyclist is all you've got to do, and this is easy, all you've got to do is be better than the average road user. <laughs> and that might sound a little bit, uh, you know, kind of, it might sound harder than, it might be harder than it sounds, but, or it might sound harder than it actually is. But the vast majority of road users are quite mindless. They are going about that everyday thing, getting from A to B, 
they're like zombies inside their cars and all you've got to do is be more aware than those people and that is actually surprisingly easy because when you're on a motorcycle you are fully aware of the danger that you are potentially putting yourself under if you are not sensible and don't get me wrong when you're on bikes like this 210 horsepower 160 newton meters of torque 0 to 60 in two and a half seconds course of mile in under 10 seconds these are ridiculous numbers that a lot of motorcycles can achieve these days and yeah of course it's fun pulling the throttle back it's fun experiencing that torque experiencing that speed but there are right times and wrong times to experience the sort of power that motorcycles have and again it's one of those things where you are fully aware of what your motorcycle is capable of or at least you should be and if you are then you won't have any problems again it just comes down to how sensible you are as a rider <laughs> little ponies i mean that's a prime example right there horseback riding how many accidents are caused from horseback riding and the fact they use roads as well horseback riding is also dangerous but you wouldn't say that to a jockey you know no one seems to think that jockeys are I've got a death wish that's not true motorcyclists don't have a death wish they just really enjoy the experience and there's something totally unique about riding a motorcycle than there is anything else all right I kind of make it a bit akin to riding a roller coaster now if you're not into roller coasters then well you're not you're not really going to understand what I'm talking about here but um, when you're on a motorcycle like this honestly it feels like you're in a fighter jet it feels like you are experiencing the world as it goes by you're not in a shell you're seeing the world as it is as you go by and feeling the wind in your face on your chest there's nothing quite like it as on a motorcycle the power of a motorcycle as well is something to behold if you are if you want to get into fast things cheaply well a motorcycle is a really good way to go about it I mean my Kawasaki ZX9R for example which is our budget superbike that costs one and a half thousand pounds and it's got 150 horsepower 100 newton meters of torque and it has a top speed of over 170 mile an hour 0 to 60 in 10 seconds uh, excuse me 0 to 60 in, in three seconds quarter mile in, in 10 seconds quite similar numbers to this ZR 1400 here which is much newer and much more expensive but honestly you, you find examples like the ZX9R everywhere out the internet if you are a bit of a performance junkie and you want the biggest bang for your buck like I do then there are lots of those motorcycles out there that you can choose from that will give you that experience whereas if you want that experience in a car you've got to pay a small fortune but of course one of the biggest problems that you have as a rider is making yourself visible to drivers or the road users well things like loud exhausts as as obnoxious as they might sound everyone around me here is noticing me right now because of this exhaust that I've got on right now everyone turns around they all look everyone is aware even if it's like a negative kind of response like oh that bike is so loud oh why does it have to be so loud they are still they still acknowledge that you are there and all these drivers around me all acknowledge that I'm here as well they all know that I'm here making yourself more visible comes down to a lot of different things the colors that you decide to wear I'm wearing red with green right the bike is green I'm wearing red right now you could wear I don't know like uh, reflective reflective jackets and things so that also helps having your lights on on the bike most motorcycles these days have got lights on 100% of the time and you can't turn them off but on some older bikes you can just keep your, keep your lights on right even if you want to go ahead and use the full beam if you want to during the day right it's not going to dazzle people in in the day if you use your full beam during the day it'll be fine if you want to use it to give yourself a little bit more visibility the position that you put yourself on the road now for example i'm putting myself right here where someone can see me in their wing mirror and they can see me in their rear view mirror little things like that that you can do every day there's good habits that you can get into every single day 
that will help you survive as a motorcyclist. And I say survive because, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a bit more provocative to say surviving, you know? But it's not surviving, it's just enjoying the experience, all right? They, motorcycles honestly aren't as dangerous as a lot of people make them out to be. There are lots of riders out there, in fact, more riders than not, that go uh, an entire motorcycle career. They ride bikes their entire lives and have next to no problems on the roads. Yeah, of course, we're all gonna have close calls. Everyone has close calls, but again, that comes down to your skill as a rider, being more visible, being more aware, staying as far away from other traffic as possible. The more of this attitude that you have, the less likely other road users are going to affect you when it comes to your safety. All right? Now, of course, I am talking a lot anecdotally, but you can research this stuff. You can go and look it up. You can go and get other points of view from other motorcyclists. All right? When it comes down to safety versus cars of course motorcycles objectively are going to be more dangerous than cars simply because if you compare the two in a crash well a car is going to protect you a hell of a lot better than a motorcycle will right i can't deny that there is no two ways about it but that is only if you get involved in a crash to begin with and believe it or not those crashes are few and far between for motorcyclists cars there are car crashes all the time all right, but it's all about how you ride the motorcycle. It's all about your attitude towards the road, your awareness. It's all down to you as the rider. There are freak things that can happen, yes, but of course, if you practice good rider behavior, good awareness, right, knowing when to have fun, knowing when it's not safe to pull a wheelie, when you know it's not safe to go 100 mile an hour, right if you can rein those those feelings in you're gonna be just fine honestly you won't have any problems whatsoever or at least any problems that you do have aren't exacerbated they're not made worse by by the way how you ride a motorcycle and i think that is part and parcel of the issue here is the amount of riders that ride stupidly the riders who have an entire riding career with no problems are the riders that ride like myself. Really conservative, they know when to have fun. They're not indicating, your indicator's not on. God's sake. Looks like the indicator was, uh, wasn't working on the front light there. Little things like that, okay? You can see these things coming. It all comes down to a little bit of experience and a little bit of know-how. That is it. Right? That is, that is, that is it, guys. Oh, this is not a good place for you to be stopping. Yeah, no, you, you keep going. <laughs> See what I mean? Mindless drivers. It doesn't take much to be a better road user than 90% of drivers out there, especially when it comes to just awareness of your environment. When you're in a car, of course, when you've got that shell around you, it's, it's really easy to get comfortable in a car and get lazy and start doing things that seem quite inconsequential to you, like not indicating, for example, but actually can be a real annoyance at, at the best of times and really dangerous at the worst of times for other road users. On a motor As a motorcyclist, you can't afford to get comfortable. There is no comfort when it comes to getting on a motorcycle. As soon as you get on a motorcycle, you're switched on. There is no motorcyclist, at least, well, I, I don't know of, of any, that have fallen asleep whilst riding their bikes. Because you, you are putting pressure on your body, you're putting pressure on your arms, you're putting pressure on your back, on your knees sometimes, on your feet. Motorcycles aren't as comfortable as cars. I mean, cars have got armchairs for seats, for God's sake. Of course, they're gonna be more comfortable than motorcycles, but that's a good thing for, for you in terms of safety if you're a rider. Anyway, everyone, there you have it. If you've got a loved one who really is against you riding bikes, show them this video. Show them a lot of the videos on our channel to see how not dangerous riding a motorcycle can be, right? It's all down to you as the rider. If you ride sensibly, you'll be absolutely fine.
take away a few good riding habits from this channel or other channels that you find out there. There's loads of really good information about riding habits that a lot of experienced riders have developed or that have had over the years that have seriously made a difference in their riding safety. All right, so definitely go ahead and check all those out. Do as much research as possible when it comes to riding motorcycles. A lot of them will echo the same message that I have in today's video. That motorcycles are only as dangerous as you make them. Simple as that. But if you like this video and if you agree, go ahead and leave that like. Hit that subscribe button so you can see more of this content on the wicked Kawasaki ZR 1400 and of course the other motorcycles that we've got on the channel. And let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Have you got a difference of opinion? I'm sure you have because there are lots of people out there that, I don't know, for some reason have got a negative view of motorcycles for their own personal reasons and they will like to use the excuse of motorcycle safety to try and put their point across. So there is, there are those kinds of people out there. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. Anyway, I'm curious to find out your thoughts on this. Any experienced motorcyclists out there? What if, what, are, what has your experience been of motorcycles? Drop it down in the comment section below. All right. But thank you again for watching. Thank you again for joining me on today's ride. Take care, ride safe, and we will catch you all in the next video. Have a good one.